Ensuring that your broiler chicken meets the expected weight at the right time start from day one with proper management. So on this video, I'm going to show you what you should do to attain the expected weight of your broiler chicken. Starting from day one, before your bed arrive and after your bed might have arrived. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. So welcome back, as I said earlier, I will share with you what you must do to ensure your chicken meets the expected weight at the expected time and the activities you must do before your bed arrive and after your bed might have arrived. So let's get down to business. I, it, it baffles me when people think that I have a special thing or a booster, a miraculous booster I give to my chicken to make them look so big. But I simply tell them that it's just a simple management. Uh, there's, there's nothing different from what they're giving their chicken from mine. My management is what differentiates my chicken from the rest. Now, this is what I want to share with you. The main secret how I attain big size heavyweight within six weeks of raising my brother chicken. The secret starts from day one. Let's assume you might have gotten your chicken. Let's assume you, you get your chicken. You might have gotten your chicken from a reputable house. Quality chicks. That's the first step. I've explained that before. Quality chicks. Quality hashtag. Give you quality chicks. So ensure you do that. And also ensure you have these seven factors in your head. Feeding, lights, air, water, sanitation, and bowel security. This factor will ensure that your chicks do well and meet the expected weight at the right time. So on today, I'll be specifically focusing on the activities you must do before your bed arrive and after your bed might have arrived. Don't forget, when the death occurs within the first few days, it is probably not your fault from the harsh fault. But after the first week, if death occur continue to occur after the first three days and after the first week, probably you have to look at your management. That is what we are trying to avoid in this video. Now, what to do before your bed arrive? Number one, you disinfect every nook and crannies in your chicken coops. Disinfect it, wash it, scrub it, especially if the previous bash were infest, infested with disease. What I normally do if my previous bash were infested with disease is I burn, the, I heat up the place. That is, I use something like sawdust or dry leaf. I put it inside the floor, on the floor. Then I burn it up so that it can heat and kick any germs that might have been hidden in any place. Very, very important you scrub and clean your coop, your pen before your bed arrive. If you use strong disinfectant, make sure you open it a week. You should do this a week before your bed arrives so that the strong disinfectant, the smell of disinfectant will not cause respiratory problem in your chicken if they arrive. Secondly, we have here is Spread your litter. Litter can be sand, wound shaving, sawdust, rice bra, etc. Depending on the area you'll stay, we have different type of litter. This litter helps in, com in comfort and also prevent or isolate the chicken from cold and absorb water moisture from the chicken pools. Pool. Okay. So what I normally do, I put this litter on the ground. Make sure it is um, 0.8. So two inches deep you can use your in-depth finger it is very important you put this I, I hate seeing going to some pen to some poultry houses and I see that the chicken are stepping on their poop on their sheets it is so unhygienic to let your chicken to step on their poop they can easily catch disease from there that is one of the reasons you put litter on the floor you must look for a litter I know it is not easy to only look for a litter but if you want the best for your bed a clean and neat bed you must look for a litter to put in your shaking pen i use wound shaving down here wound shaving okay so the next on our list here is you heat up the brooder heat up the brooder before your beds arrive arrange it spread your litter spread your newspaper auto heat up the brooder to the temperature required because these chicks they don't have they don't have feather and they cannot regulate their body temperature so they depend on their mother hen, but the chicks you are, you are breeding does not have mother hen. So you are their mother hen and you have to provide that warm environment for them by heating up the environment, the coop, before the chickens arrive or before the chicks arrive. Okay? Now the next thing you have to do, the feed. Make sure the feed is of good quality. Pillets, if it's pillet, it should be 2mm size. If it's crumble, it should be filtered and dust free. Thirdly, and the other one I have here is ensure 
you place the feeder and drinker in an unrestricted area. Don't put the drinker or water near the, the heater or, or uh, the brooder or near the wall where the chicks cannot have access to the feeder or water. Put it in an alternative manner and make sure the water is more than the feeder. If you have two feeder, you should have more four drinkers. That is how it should be. They need more water than feed to survive. These are the five things you must do to ensure that your chicks have safe landing in your chicken coop. Then, what must you do after your chicken must have arrived? Number one thing, adjust condition accordingly. Especially the temperature. You adjust the temperature. If the temperature is too, if the room, the, the coop is too warm, adjust it. If you see that the beds are crowding on one corner, you know that the temperature is not warm enough. If they are staying away from the fire, from the source, the heat source, you know that the temperature is too hot. So you have to adjust accordingly. Don't just put your bed and leave. Okay? Then secondly, ventilation. If the coop or the brooder is too hot, Make sure there is some ventilation. The ventilation should not come directly. When I enter some, you just see the ventilation, the window is just direct, directed to the bed. It can cut drafts and can make the bed to crowd at one corner and piling might occur, which will lead to death of your chickens. So what you do here is make sure the ventilation comes from on top. You release the ventilation from on top so that when the breeze comes inside, then the gas, the waste gas, the heat, the moisture will leave. Then the breeze will come gently and settle on the bed without hitting the bed very hard. That's why you must put the ventilation in your chicken pen or brooder from on top when they are very tender. Okay? Now, the third thing you must do after your bed not have arrived is to ensure the eats. Ensure the eats using this system. One, after two hours, 75% of the bed might have eaten, have a full crop. So you have to check the crop after 70 after two hours 75 percent of the beds mouse must have a full crop okay then after that four hours later you can four hours 80 percent should have a full crop then eight hours more than 80 percent should have a full crop then to four hours the next day more than 95 percent should have a full crop these things are very essential to ensure your chicken attain the expected weight after one week which is between 180 to 200 grams. If you can get this, I bet you your chicken will do very well and your chicken will look so big before seven weeks. You can start marketing your chicken at six weeks. Remember, the growth start declining when they hit seven to eight weeks. So the best time to start marketing your chicken is six weeks. Your broiler chicken is six weeks. After six to eight weeks, the bed's growth will start declining. So, might run into loss. So, endeavor you do all this. For more details on how to brood brother chicken to attain more weight, check the video above. And if you want to avoid deaths in your chicken coops during the first week, make sure you watch the video on your screen. I've done justice to that topic in this video. So, and see you on my next video.